Hey guys, what's up? Today on Why You Should, we're going to tackle a pretty mean subject, I'd like to say, because it's kind of a, a reality check to people. Um, and it's it saddens me to see people like that every time that it happens. And a little, a little funny, I guess, that I, I still see people like that. But anyways, what I'm talking about is um, the concept of the idea guy. Can be a gal as well, but it's just how it's... Uh, the idea guy is how it's called. Um, it's gender neutral. <laughs> All right. So the idea guy, you've probably heard of it, and I am going to talk about it from a, a, the game industry, the game making industry perspective, where it's, I don't know if it started there, I don't know if you could really say it, but it's very, very, very obvious there. It still applies to any other industry, I'd say, any startup kind of thing, any idea that someone has, it applies to, but definitely to the games industry. So what's the idea guy? The idea guy is, is very simple. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of obvious. It's the guy with the idea for a game, and that's it. No actual skills, no actual idea, of no, no familiarity with the industry at all. No knowledge of how a game comes to life. Just an idea. And that's it. And he's looking for people to make his game. Usually, these people do not have any funding whatsoever. Sometimes they do, which is, I guess, the better case, but it's still pretty terrible. And um, what this really is, is someone who has no idea of the industry at all, coming in with, with, he thinks that he has this wonderful idea that will surely be a success. And again, this applies to everything I feel, but specifically the games industry. An idea, first of all, is worthless. Because every single person in this industry has a bajillion, kabajillion ideas that's a real number, a kabajillion ideas on games that they want to make. Personally, I have a million one-liners that I think will totally be cool if they'd be made into a game. Probably none of them will ever see the light of day. I also have a lot of ideas that are a little bit more fleshed out than that. Maybe I, I've written in them on text and they're not just in my head and I've, I've, you know, thought about them pretty seriously, but they're still just, the concept is still just the idea and there's nothing tangible there. And you know what? I'm a coder. I can actually put that into code and create some kind of prototype and, and see how that thing goes. But someone with no technical skills whatsoever, just having an idea is so useless, so incredibly useless. And again, especially in the games industry, because a game, any game ever made, is an iterative process that you have a basic concept and you try it out and then you change it and then you see if it works and you morph it and you change it and you throw it all the garbage and try again with the same concept in mind but completely differently and you you play test and you see what works and what doesn't and you change things this process is iterative it is repeated many, many times until you reach an outcome that might not be at all remotely close to what you started with. In any way. It could be so completely different. So an idea, a rough idea, is nothing. It is completely meaningless. And uh, people who still think that, you know, that, you know, I'm just going to be the idea guy. Um, I just want to find people who will do that. Is, is, is just ridiculous. And there's a lot of times that they think that Maybe they'll be the game designer, you know, they'll, they'll be the, the guy who, who says how the game will be. And those people, again, have no concept of what being a game designer means because it, it doesn't mean just, you know, calling the shots. There's a lot more to it. It is, a, it is a role unto itself on top of a developer that codes, you know, and someone who does art. It is, and sound, and all the other roles. A game designer is, is a pretty big thing that you do need to be educated and familiar with that role. And not just, yeah, I just have an idea. That is not enough. And it, it saddens me to see people still in that, in that frame of mind that I could just be the idea guy. And it's just, wow. It's, it's kind of a mean subject because, dude, no, get a grip. But I wanted to talk about it because um, I, 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 saw, I saw it today. I saw someone trying to be the idea in one of the many groups um, one of the many groups of, of game, I mean, we're not going to go into it too much, but one of the, the, the groups of, of game developers, uh, designers, and, and people who make games, really, um, just posted something about uh, a guy who's kind of trying to be the idea guy. And it's, 
it was it really made me laugh and um, kind of sad that these things still exist. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't be the idea guy. They're useless. If you have a really cool idea, that's a wonderful thing. But if that's the only thing you have, you have a really cool idea, then it's it's worthless if you don't do anything about it. And if you don't know how to do anything about it, then trying to find other people who'll do it for you for no money, uh, is an example, because it'll be successful, or pouring a ton of money into it because you know that it'll be successful, is really sad to see, because you have no idea. In the, in the world itself, unless you're, you know, really, really experienced in whatever field that that idea comes from, and in games specifically, it's going to be so different, the end result is going to be so different from what you have in mind that you really can't tell if it's going to be successful, and something that you really should only go to if you have it at least some kind of experience. So don't be the idea guy, please. It's, you know, it makes me laugh, but it's really sad as well to, to see such things happen still. All right, that's it. Um, that's the why shit for today. I guess it was kind of weird and kind of very specific today, but this was just something that I wanted to discuss, uh, even if most of you are kind of familiar with it. So sorry for that. Hopefully this has still been enjoyable. I'm going to finish my... There's like two more drops of tea in this anymore. I've been drinking and working today. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching as usual. We'll see you guys next time.